Hello, I'm Troy Bockelman with the CattleFax Closing Bell, brought to you by Zoetis. At the cow herd level, low pregnancy rates, abortions, and calf deaths are some of the real economic losses associated with inadequate fetal protection against reproductive diseases. Protect calves before day one with fetal protection vaccines from Zoetis. Whether at pre-breeding or at pregnancy check, we have a fetal protection vaccine to fit your herd's needs. Learn more at fetalcalfprotection.com. The United States exports around 2.5 billion pounds of beef and beef offal to the world marketplace each year. As the world population incomes increase each year, more protein will be added to diets and demand will continue to increase for quality beef. The top five beef exporters are India, Brazil, Australia, the U.S., and New Zealand, with nearly 75% of the world beef exports coming from these countries. While India is the largest beef exporter, the beef from India is a from water buffalo and seldom competes directly with the next four exporters, as water buffalo is a lesser quality meat. Brazil was the number two exporter in 2016, exporting 2.6 billion pounds. The top four markets for Brazil is Hong Kong, Egypt, China, and Russia. Brazil competes with the U.S. for the Hong Kong market, and in 2016, Hong Kong was the largest beef export market for Brazil, with 55% of the Hong Kong import market share, followed by the U.S. with 20%. In 2016, Australia and New Zealand combined to export 3.6 billion pounds of beef. Australia and New Zealand are the main competitors for U.S. beef and compete directly in the Asian markets of Japan and South Korea. Before the BSC outbreak in 2003, the United States was the largest supplier of beef into Japan and South Korea. As the U.S. recovered from BSC and exports resumed, the U.S. has steadily increased its market share in the Asian countries. In 2016, the Down Under Duel supplied 55% and the U.S. supplied 41% of beef imported into Japan and South Korea. Beef production continues to increase in Brazil, India, and the U.S. Australia is approximately two years behind the U.S. in the cattle cycle, and as such is rebuilding its herd after several years of drought. As incomes and population continue to increase, the rest of the world will look to these five countries to supply the protein to meet the increased demand. Moving forward, the United States will continue to be in a position to supply the world with high-quality beef. With the U.S. increasing beef production and the world population growing, CattleFax expects beef exports to increase 4 to 6 percent each year for the next several years. Thanks for watching and remember to visit CattleFax.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. The pressures are real, the risks are high, but the opportunities have never been greater. So how do you sort through it all to decide which way to go? For more than 40 years, CattleFax has led the way. Become a member at www.cattlefax.com. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, our team is impartial, objective, our vision is global, and our focus is you. CattleFax, the deciding factor.